Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTKB Foundation Level Certification. We are getting started with Chapter 6 called as Test Tools. And as a part of this particular tutorial, we'll be discussing on 6.1 Tool Support for Testing. And here you will get to know what are the different tools we have which we can make use of as a part of our test process. In this brief and very short tutorial, we'll be introducing you to different type of test tools which can help us in different activities throughout our life cycle. Indeed, there are different varieties of tools. So someone going to use a tool should be aware of what kind of tool I must make use of when it comes to testing. Of course, not a single tool can cater you all the purposes. And at the same time, not all the purposes can be fulfilled by a single tool. So someone should be really aware of what are the different activities we perform and how are the different tools available to support us for all those activities. At the same time, we would also like to give you a quick introduction and a definition to what is a test tool. In simple words, an application which can assist you in testing by any means is called as a test tool. So in that term, an automation testing tool is also a test tool and a test management tool is also a test tool. Or even if you're talking about a simple workbook, which is an Excel sheet managing your test data, then that can also be referred to as a test tool. So any such tool, any such application which assists you in minimizing your efforts by any means, by performing your activity sometime directly, is called as a test tool. So let's quickly have a look on what are the different tools do we have with us and what do they assist us when it comes to the test process with. So number one, we are talking about the test tools that support and facilitate many activities. And here are some of the examples which include but are not limited to as we do have many others for specialized needs. So number one is management tools. This type of tool increase the test process efficiency by just facilitating management of SDLC requirements, tests, defects, and configuration. So these tools are mainly from the test management point of view and can only perform the test management of the lifecycle where we manage the test cases, the test defects, the test execution, etc. On the same line, the other tool we have is called the static testing tools, which supports the tester in performing reviews and static analysis. Uh, again, not to just confuse uh, yourself, uh, static testing is not limited to tester alone. Of course, developers mainly perform it. However, static analysis is being considered as a code review activity, which is mainly performed by developers, but given that testers can also participate, so it's just not limited to them. And being a tool which only reviews to find static defects, thus it is more of like a testing tool. And uh, there are tools available in the market which do help you to track the review findings when you statically review any sort of documentation like requirement or use cases, etc. Further to add, we have test design and implementation tools. As the name suggests, it is more from the design of the test cases and implementation of the environments, testability, etc. And here, this facilitates generation of test cases, test data, and test procedures. So in simple words, again, these all are capabilities of such tools, and we do have uh, different tools available to perform these activities. Indeed, if I come talk about test design a little more detail. Uh, there are tools available as a part of inbuilt within the test management where you can derive test cases directly from the, uh, the requirement itself. And at the same time, if you are using model-based testing tools, you know that model-based diagrams, which is user, uh, UML diagrams, allows you to quickly convert that diagram into automation scripts. In fact, model-based testing is quite widely used when it comes to frequently changing requirements, that is agile methodology. Also to add, uh, if we talk about the test execution and coverage tools, these tools facilitate automated test executions and measurement of coverages. So again, very straightforward uh, when we talk about the test execution, these are those tools which are directly involved in performing the test execution. So all the automation testing tools speak about uh, API testing, functional testing, performance testing, security testing. These are all mainly directly ex uh, executable on the product and helps you find defects. At the same time, we do have inbuilt coverages in such tools, or if you want, you can use separately some different tools which are usually uh, referred when we need to measure the coverage on the code, like code coverage, uh, condition coverage, decision coverage, statement coverage, and many more such things. So we do get tools. 
And uh, also to add here, we have non-functional testing tools, which are for the specialized needs, like allow the tester to perform non-functional testing that is sometimes difficult or impossible to perform manually. Now, it's very simple to understand. There are many specific non-functional testing tools which are specially designed for each non-functional level like performance, security, usability, interoperability, portability, and whatnot. And all these tools are independent of each other. And at the same time, these tools are capable of performing such complex, complicated tests, which manually sometimes is not even possible, like performance. Now, performance testing is something we know that it is more about adding a load of users and then testing a particular scenario. But you cannot imagine 5,000 people being hired just to do performance testing. And just imagine the cost involved in having the infrastructure for them and then trying to make a click together. So we make use of tools uh, in such scenarios again, and that's where we say it is impossible or difficult to perform such levels. Further to add, of course, uh, we do have DevOps tools as we discussed some of the concepts on the DevOps in our previous tutorials. Uh, DevOps support the DevOps delivery pipeline, workflow tracking, automated build process of CI, CD, etc. So you do have many other tools. Uh, which do suggest to uh, support you with DevOps activities. Indeed, builds the pipeline required to perform automated executions of different things, including unit testing, integration testing, or build verification test, static analysis, and few others. So this is what put together is called as a pipeline. And as as and when a code is checked in, it just just quickly you know kicks to kicks off each of these triggers and performs and lets you know that where exactly the failure happened. And based on that, we can rectify it, update it, and move on to the next one. Further to add, uh, we do have collaboration tools, which are mainly for facilitating communications. And uh, these tools are not mainly to test in particular, but of course, testing team makes use of communication tools, which are instant messaging, wikis, or emails, and whatnot. However, I'm not taking any particular names of the tool, because sometimes it becomes very difficult to uh, bring that back, because ISTQB officially does not recommend any names because given that ISTQB is an international body, if they recommend any name in their syllabus, that sometime can become a global recommendation. So that's where we even, I am not referring to any particular name. However, you understand better that what these tools are all about. Even if not, you don't have to worry. That's not a part of our syllabus. Also, uh, Additionally, we talk about tools uh, supporting scalability and deployment uh, standardizations, which includes virtual machines, containerization tools. So you know what we are talking about, things like Docker's or things which virtualizes the service like virtual machines, etc. creations and cloud hosting or cloud computation. All those sort of tools would fall under this particular category and they are really helpful in all the terms. Also, one other thing to say, any other tool that can assist in testing, in that case, a spreadsheet is a test tool in context of testing. So I think I told you right in the beginning that even if you are just using Excel sheet to manage your data or test cases or anything else in that context, then the Excel is also called as a testing tool. So put together, that's all what we had from this particular tutorial team. We have one more tutorial to go from this particular entire discussion, and that's where we'll be done with the syllabus. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.